Assalamu alaikum and uh, welcome to Who is Who in America on Al Hikmat TV 24 7 online. Today we are very fortunate to have with us in Al Hikmat studio Brother Imtiaz Muhammad. Welcome to the show, Brother Imtiaz. Thank you. Good. Brother Imtiaz is a very interesting person and has a very interesting background and personality. He is the founder and uh, director of MVM Foundation Inc. And you will hear more about what is MVM. But just briefly, MVM means Muslim Votes Matter. And now that we are in America and we have all this highlights and activities about politics in America and Muslims, involvement in politics it is important to understand um, why MVM Muslim Votes Matter so stay tuned brother Imchaz is a businessman got a lot of businesses uh, well known here in Florida so stay tuned as we continue this conversation with brother Imchaz inshallah Fens, the single largest specialty retailer of residential and office furniture, consumer electronics, home appliances, and household items in Trinidad and Tobago. At Fens, we offer a large selection of high-quality products, honest and reliable service. We are passionate about serving you, and we're proud of the standard of excellence upheld by our knowledgeable staff, friendly delivery teams, and dedicated customer care associates. Visit Fens first, your friendly furniture appliance and electronic dealer since 1960. For all of your forwarding and freight shipping needs, we at Trend Forwarding International are committed to product delivery. At Trend Forwarding, we have the much needed experience, professionalism and due diligence in freight forwarding, shipping and cargoes. We deliver with timeliness and precision. You can reach out to us at our Caribbean office in Trinidad and Tobago, telephone number 868-624-6250 or our Florida USA office at 305-887-9750. Two, five. So, Brother Intiaz, getting to the point directly, and for the benefit of our viewers, we know that we had you on the show before a couple of times, but your, uh, you know, viewers and people all over the world, for the benefit of people who have not heard you before on the social media, on Al Hikmat TV, and um, other areas over the past um, few years. Tell us a little bit about your background before you came to America and then came to America so that they will understand why you ended up with MVM. Okay. Thank you for such a big question <laughs> and yeah. in a very small time you want me to explain my 30 years in America. Interesting. So my background was from an educational family from mm -hmm. teaching family and from my childhood I always wanted to do something big but I was not fortunate enough to do that in my parent country I'm from Pakistan right and uh, I end up in United States of America when I came I came with the vision that I will do something really unique and big so my impression of America was changed when I landed here. <laughs> so it was totally different. And I see my fellow citizens from different countries that how hard it is to come to this country. And, and I want to stop it there because, you know, it, it is interesting for viewers to understand. So before coming to America, what was your impression? My impression was this. This is the land of opportunity. And I think and it will be a very easy journey because the opportunity world gives you an opportunity to be at ease but it was not like that you have to earn opportunity and in order to earn you have to really focus what you want to do so in the early uh, time in america like you know we struggle and everything but at the same time i had a vision that i want to do something 
very unique and interesting. But that's a good point you, you, you mentioned, Brother Imjaz. A lot of people really abroad, they think, yes, we go to America, and it's just yeah. everything. Thank as we say, it's a bed of roses. You just come and lie down. <laughs> you get all the beautiful smell and all the luxury and all the happiness, but it's not really that. You got mm. a lot of um, uh, a lot of things to do to attain that opportunity before those doors of opportunities are opened. It is a country with a lot of opportunities, but it takes a lot of sacrifice before you turn the key to those, do, do, those doors of opportunities. I like that. I like that point <laughs> you have recognized and um, you came to know that from day one. Uh, whatever so people <laughs> enjoy here, it's very expensive. It's very costly. So yes, you have opportunities and you have a lot of, lot of, lot of um, benefits, but it takes a lot of cost, a lot of cost. to get that. A lot of sacrifice, a lot of um, effort. So you made a good, good point there. And I, I wanted to emphasize that for viewers out there. It takes a lot of effort for those things. Illa mashallah, unless somebody is just born with a gold spoon in yes. their mouth, as we say. Yeah, majority of people, they come here for financial reason. Yes. Their background. Somebody is not just coming to see America and going back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So basically, you know, that is the one point of the m immigrants but the second thing which i personally recognize that you know once you adopt yourself as a american citizen in this country that changed everything your entire life should change but i saw it is not changed for several people they are still stuck back home politics back home s cultural activities and they never adopted America as American. To be American is not a bad thing, but people take this in a wrong direction. That uh, if you say, hey, I'm an American, so it does not mean that you are drinking, you are doing wrong things. That is not definition of American. Definition of American that you adopted a country with your own willingness you became a citizen of this nation, then you have obligation. Mm -hmm. Your obligation is, your obligation is that you should get involved in that country. And we easily say patriotism. What is patriotism? That you have to be patriotic and loyal to the nation you belong. You take oath and become US citizen and then after that you close that uh, passport and put it somewhere else and you are on the go. Mm -hmm. And this is what I saw, and then you earn your livelihood by doing several things, nothing to do with religion. When you adopt businesses, you just don't go by religion. That being a Muslim, you have certain mm -hmm. obligations not to involve in certain businesses. But what we see, who's doing the most businesses in America following that rule? But we earn bad name being Muslims are doing wrong things around the world. Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. So I realize why we have earned this level of terrorism. We have earned, uh, people don't recognize us as uh, a peaceful human. So this is what happened because when we started our journey in this country, we focus on religion, we focus on social organization structures, and Muslims followed that route. Just religion and social services to show the world we are peaceful human, we're doing good stuff, to earn a reputation of religion, Islam, being Muslim, this is what happened. Now we have saturation in America for non-profit organizations. Everywhere people are promoting Islam by opening more religious organizations, by opening more social organizations. So I was following this pattern that where we heading? Are we heading in the right direction to make our case 
being a Muslim, best people, best uh, believers, how are we going to interpret this in society? I realize we are diverting. Doing religious services, nothing wrong in it. Doing social services, nothing wrong in it. But ignoring the political structure, ignoring the political engagement, which also teaches you to get involved, do and fix wrongdoings. If you don't believe in certain things which are wrong, get involved. Fix justice and equality is for every faith and beliefs. Justice and equality is not the only lesson of Islam. It's a lesson from every faith that we should be treated equally. And that is related with the political system. And all religious and social organizations are connected with our political system in America except American Muslims. We do not have a strong platform. We do not have a strong structure where we can comfortably can say that all Muslims in America are on one page. They understand the politics of this country. They understand why we should be in politics to be recognized as a peaceful national of this country. I'm as good American as anybody else. So what is the difference between me and him? They understand the other faith and believers, they got into the system so professionally, nobody can even recognize. They are American or non-American, but our case was weakened because we never involve in politics. You can so, be Republican, you can be independent, you can be Democrat. So this was my philosophy, so create something to cover all these lack, uh, lacking in the political engagement. What is the point we can unite all American Muslim on one point agenda? One point, it's very hard to unite all organizations. It's very hard to duplicate the concept a lot of people doing. So I created something so common and unique so no social organization can ignore that no religious organization can ignore that and they can be part of this philosophy which we are trying to put in three word m v m what is m v m muslim world matter it's just not that the you vote but you need to understand why you need to vote, why you need to register yourself. Your voice will not be recognized if you do not have a voting power. Right. And our community are lacking behind big time. They don't vote. They don't believe in voting. Some people say, no, this is voting is haram. We're still debating. In this century, we're still debating if the voting is right or wrong. So I understood this that if I am going to promote myself as a Democrat or a Republican or independent, nobody gonna pay any attention. Yeah, yeah. So we created something for public, for people to understand. I'm not the president of this organization. I'm not going to be the decision maker of this organization. This is for every individual in America who claim that I am Muslim, the who claim I'm Muslim, he must register for vote, Republican, Democrat, or Independent. That's it. Good. Before we get on, on um, our short break, we've got to go on a short break. <laughs> we have been on the roll for almost 15 minutes now already. There is one point I want to um, emphasize before we go on the break and come back. And when we come back, we're going to talk more on the details of MVM, Muslim Votes Matter. But just on a, for viewers to understand, and I, I, I like the point you made there of the involvement in the political system. What has happened, and I, I support you in that, what has happened is everybody want to get on the religious um, 
bandwagon, as we say. Everybody want to get into social services, which is excellent, as you said. But, you know, there are people who can do religious work. So Certainly. let them do the religious work Absolutely. that they are into. And there are people who are doing social services, so let them do social services. Agreed. But a lot of people are out there with a lot of talk, and I mean a lot of talk, but they do nothing for the country. Thank you. They don't put their money, they don't put their time, but they got all the ideas and all the suggestions, and they're not getting involved in the political arena, but they got all the solutions and ideas, and you can only make these ideas and solutions um, effective and active when you become active yourself. Absolutely. So uh, the point that you were making there, and I, I want to clear that for our audience and viewers, because again, as I always say, we got viewers all over the world, and they may understand something else and think something else. So we're not saying that, uh, that, that the, the people in religious organizations, yeah, they, they occupied in that. They got the, so everybody got their own caps, but... Um, MVM, Muslim Votes Matter, or let's say the political arena, there are people who just do nothing in social organizations and religious organizations, and they got a lot of ability, capability, Absolutely. finance, uh, financial stability. So they need to come into a more active area as opposed to only talking. So when we come back, we'll get into that conversation. And I, I, I really wanted to emphasize that because of the fact that you got the religious people and religious organization, social services people. A lot of the other people do not get involved in the political arena and a lot who got the ability to. Absolutely. And last but not least, whether it's religious or social, everyone live in America and they have the rights to vote. So I love that point that you made that they all have something in common. Yes. They all got that something in common. Absolutely. So stay tuned when we come back. We will continue this conversation, inshallah, with Brother Imtiaz, who is the founder of MVM, Muslim Votes Matter Foundation. And we'll talk more about that, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Allah gives hikmat, wisdom, to whomsoever He wills. And whomsoever is given wisdom is certainly given a lot of good. Only the people of understanding will benefit from the reminder. Tune in to Al Hikmah TV for kutbas, lectures, and Islamic reminders. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the Quran, in chapter 5, verse 67, Allah tells the Prophet, Bismillah rahman rahim, Ya ayyuha rasul. بَلِّغْ مَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ مِنْ رَبِّكْ وَإِنْ لَمْ تَفْعَلْ فَمَا بَلَغْتَ رِسَالَتَهُ Very deep. Allah tells the Prophet ﷺ to spread the message of the Qur'an. And he told the Prophet, and if you do not spread the message, you did not fulfill the mission of the Messenger. So you and I are followers of the Prophet ﷺ. If we can afford one Qur'an, Help us join in distributing the Quran. So if you can't afford one Quran, do it. $3, 10 Quran, $30, 100 Quran, $300. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Who is Who in America on Al Hikmat TV. 24-7 online. Once more, it is a pleasure to have with us in al Hikmat studio, Brother Imtiaz Muhammad, who is the founder and director of MVM Foundation, which is Muslim Votes Matter. Stay tuned as we continue this conversation with Brother Imtiaz. So, Brother Imtiaz, uh, before we went on the short break, we were talking about people getting involved. So we already have a lot of people involved in religious activities, in social services. Now, I want to get to a point with you, seeing that you have been a former candidate for Congress, for Florida State Rep, etc. Yes. And you have been out there, you have been in the field, you have done a lot of grass wo grassroots work, as we say, a lot of groundwork. So you've been there. What do you think of people 
who got money, got education, got a lot of talk, but they're afraid to get involved in politics. And I, I, I want to say that they are afraid. And I, you know, I, I, I'm, they need a, they need a um, constructive in the religious area because they don't live a religious life. They need a constructive in the social services life because they don't have time to get involved. So they talk a lot of politics. They, they associate with a lot of politicians. All right, I'm getting into some serious Absolutely, points here. Yeah. Because you got into Muslim Votes Matters. I want to talk to you about that. So they associate with a lot of politicians. They shake hands. They go to lunch. They take photos. Yes. But they're scared to get involved in politics. I don't understand that language. I really don't. What is this? Is this what it is all about that they are there with politicians, but they do not get involved themselves? What are they afraid of? What are they afraid of? What do they think they would lose? Is it that they are too coward? No, it's not about that. The, the thing is this, like uh, the philosophy behind MVM is a little bit off from the election perspective. I ran from different counties, different positions, just to make a point to all these who are there, who are more capable financially. Because look, no election can a campaign can run without financials. Yes, it needs. And, it has a lot and of And we expense. see that. Even yes. presidential campaign to a small city campaign, you see their fundraising. And our community is the most uh, wealthiest in donations. And we have a track record of uh, our donors. Mm -hmm. They, without any hesitation, they donate because they understand the importance of religious organization. They understand the importance of the social services, which is good. But they need to understand the importance of the political involvement, not on a personal level, but on a collective level. Like, you know, why Muslims need to get involved in politics? Because to show that we are equally capable of running the cities, we are equally capable of running states, we are equally capable that we don't have to shy. If I can run a small business and create jobs, why can't a city can be more creative? Why can't a state be more creative? So we have all these businessmen with money and everything, investment ideas and talk and everything. But I'm talking from the Muslims' perspective that the why Muslims are behind in this scene only for one reason. That first of all, we need to understand there's nothing harm, no, no problem to be in political arena. If you can run for offices, if there are some other people who are capable, support them educate them so the MVM come in picture now for collective benefits MVM is not me it's about people It's about those guys who claim that they are the community leaders so now the burden is on them they need to run MVM not me and you we are educating every individual I'm requesting imams, all our mufti scholars who are in America should promote this concept. MVM is not Imtiaz Muhammad. MVM is all American Muslims need to understand the importance of registered voters. So are you going Just to are you going to encourage um, have programs where you will absolutely, mobilize absolutely. and motivate people Absolutely. To get involved, not only to vote. Not one is getting the regular masses to vote, but are you going to mobilize and motivate people and have such y events or activities Absolutely. to encourage people who got Th the that's capability what MVM. To, to become um, a state rep or become a congressman or a mayor or commissioner? That's, how, that's how, how, do you, how do you intend to do that, to encourage a person who got good ability what we call a sleeping elephant yes money education university degree everything but it's just too coward to get on the the camping trail how how do you see mvm encouraging that person what what do you 
plan to do to encourage such people yeah. to, to run for offices? The, what you said word by word is the goal and work of MBM. We are going to be the educators. Mm -hmm. We're going to involve more people. Like We're going to request people like your caliber. I mean, you are an icon in our community who are the, I must say, I admire your services. Thank You've you. been there for such a long time and you never hesitated to, you like, you know, you promoted me in my campaign and everything, whatever you could have done. Regardless, I was Democrat or Republican. It's not, we are above that. Mm -hmm. So now the goal of MVM is to get involved with every existing organization. We're going to beg mu Muslim muftis, imams, because you are most respected people in our community. Right. When you're running the mosque, so we go to you every Friday or five times a day. We listen and we care. Our imams are most respectable teachers for us. So the imam's going to teach this lesson to the audience, Muslim vote matters. The one single message, you're not telling them to change their faith. You're telling them, you live in this society, this is your country, and how you're going to prove that you are American citizen by registering your vote and voting for the right candidate you believe. Is he Republican? Is a Democrat? It's your choice. Uh, on that point, I want to ask you again. And I, I, I mean, I got to interrupt because, <laughs> you know, I know our viewers might be having questions in their mind. And I want to ask some of the questions that they may have in their mind. Do you think that some of the people, in addition to encouraging people to vote, do you think some of our Muslims who do not get involved in um, politics, who got the ability, as you said, and I want to call them sleeping elephants <laughs> because they're big they got big houses they got big cars they got big bank accounts they got big mouths and i want to say that <laughs> big mouths big cars big bank accounts big talk on politics but they're scared to get involved do you think they're scared because they f they, they are afraid of people uh criticizing them for being part of a party, meaning Democrat Party or the Republican Party. That they're scared now that people will say, oh, you're a Republican, because if they have to go up, in most cases, they're not just going to go up as an independent. In most cases, independents don't win. <laughs> we have seen that in America, presidents, right? They don't really make it, um, generally speaking. Illa mashallah. So if they go up as a Democrat, then Republicans won't like them. If they go up as a, as a Republican, then Democrats won't like them. So they keep quiet and they're scared of people uh, attacking them based on which party they're affiliated with. That's one point. Number two, why are they scared? Because they may probably have businesses and they think that people, their, their clients will not support them now. If their clients are Republicans, well, they will lose all their clients. Or if their clients are Democrats, they will lose them. But you got to brave that situation if you want to get involved in politics. Absolutely. It's not, look, you know, you cannot find angels to run for offices. Everybody have here and there something. Uh, so one should not be scared. You're presenting yourself for community service. What is politics? You are presenting yourself that elect me so I can take care of your problems. But do you think they're scared? Uh, it's a very technical question well, because you know, you a lot of people, the thing is this, well, they have they've lived their life. The thing is this also that saying is easy. I'm politically engaged. I want to be politically engaged or like I want to run for offices. You have to have that burning desire. And it's, you have to earn this in a way that look, I want to serve my communities. Okay, you're serving your communities, being in social organization, you're distributing free foods, you're doing religious services, you're doing interfaith services. There are so many things people are serving. But in this case, in political arena, you have to offer your services, what you can contribute. But those people probably have, like maybe I have lived my life and I have done so much for the community. and But 
my only only concern with those people are that you have lived your life you have done such nice thing so this is the time please help others to move forward why i ran for office do you think i run for our congress with no financial support from any institution i will win no i made a point look you have to have a courage that if i am clean i have no issues what is the problem i'm not scared from nobody if i have done something bad i have to justify but that's the point i want to get at brother into do you think some of these people maybe they have the fear who got the ability and i mean they got the ability you know they got the ability absolutely they got everything they got more than some of these mayors and commissioners and governors got muslims absolutely yeah okay they got more than what these commissioners governors and politicians got why do you think some of these muslims are scared to get and listen it's not because of religion yes it's not because of religion they are not they they, they, they we know that, that's a category we're talking about i'm not talking about a uh, someone who is very religious and five times in the mosque and 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 they, it will conflict with their lifestyle no i'm talking about people who live a a, a materialistic life they 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 They, as we say, they join shoulders with every politician everywhere. Everybody knows what they are. They're either a Democrat, and everybody knows if they're Republican. Republican yes. Because those are the people. Show me your friends, and I'll tell you who you are. They are always with the Democrats, or they are always with the Republicans. Republican, so yes. they cannot hide from that. Everybody knows which party they support. Well, why do you think they are scared? I would love to get that question. I would love to know. Why do you think these Muslims who got the potential capabilities and ability what do you think they are afraid of The thing is that they have lived a lavish life okay and they have done so much community service So are you saying now that they are scared to lose the the luxury that they have Because, in life you know, or the money uh, like they you know, have The thing is this it's very easy to be part of any organization and just do a title on you that I'm a community server. Okay. Fine. But when it comes to politics, when you come and ask for yourself that I want to run for this seat, that becomes more challenging mm. because that be, will be real community service. Then you will be coming to me say Mr. Muhammad, I'm going uh, having these problems. If uh, if I'm a city commissioner, so you're going to come with your problems. they say hey, i i am having this problem they they're not giving me the permits this and that so that's real service are you saying they are not brave enough yeah because so, look you so know so they may not be scared it's of not about anything. braveness they're not scared. It, it is lot more than their imagination when you run it is better to have connections than exactly to serve serving physically is entirely different than having connection with your politicians can having connection with the city commissioners and all this why like you know why i want to run for office do i need a job well, i create well, jobs well listen we got to accept i think it's because they are not brave enough to handle the responsibility yeah or they probably think they are not strong enough to handle the responsibility or they probably think that if they get into politics they will lose some of the money they have because they will have to spend some things which is bad they're not supposed to think like that um because that's not how it really works you could become much more wealthier if you are in politics you know what i mean not that you're going to rob the people <laughs> but the perks that come on the side the popularity the community services brings that barakat with you yes. and you grow in your business and your life But take for example President Biden, President Trump. It's very challenging. Yes. It takes work. a brave responsibility and a very brave brave it, it's a lot of brave responsibilities to make decision. And um and uh, and it's definite that you get a lot of critics on the other side, but you got to be brave enough to, to face the that. challenges that. And you got to be strong enough to handle that. Absolutely, so that's that's the reality. I personally think it's because they're not brave enough. to handle the challenges or the, and the, and they're not strong enough so they have to make an choice an option option b for them is 
support who want to run for offices and educate like you know this is structure what we are discussing today MVM is for everybody it's not for uh, like you know that we are keeping it closed door it's not a closed door organization it's a public organization the reason we have to choose this route to be non-profit because people need to understand no organization can run without donation without funds without support because this is going to be a very challenging job but it's not for me because it's all about educating others mm -hmm. and the others educating others if all Muslim organization take this challenge big organizations okay nothing wrong in uh, Friday khutbah if Imam saying please if you have not registered your vote please go register your vote you're not giving them go vote Democrat go a lot of people don't even understand mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong then they say no my uh, 501c3 does not allow me to support a candidate and that that's secondary you're educating your people why they are there in Friday prayer to listen to get some advices from the Imam to understand their lifestyle if they're doing right or wrong to get a lesson so this could be one lesson added to all masajid all religious institution organization everywhere where they have a thing they will can say have you ever registered your vote no please go register your family so imagine if we run this campaign nationwide that everybody singing one song and they're not getting paid nobody is paying me to do this I'm volunteering myself and I understood that if every single American in America who is eligible to vote registered it will make big impact on entire political arena because all these leaders who want to run for offices will be knocking your door they will be coming to your mosque they will be joining your events they will be wholeheartedly want to serve the communities right so the idea of registering every uh, voter to have more voting block big voting block for American Muslim right and then you have a choice you want to train somebody yes it's all education so we already are around 15 minutes plus in the second segment so we got to go on a short break got to go on a short break when we come back brother MTS we will continue on this topic now as to um, I like this idea how you intend to get MVM Muslim Votes Matter Foundation to be able to motivate people yes. how, I mean one thing is to say that they got a vote but how what are some of the ideas you have on how to get these people to vote and how to motivate more people to come on board to be more active in politics because that's what that's what you need that's to do what, yes. every time there's a seat available in the country you need to encourage people Muslims to go up for it or support someone else some other non-muslim who is going up for the Absolutely. position and they're good for it because you don't want to support a Muslim who is not good for the position you have another um, community leader Muslim or non-muslim that is a um, that has the ability to do it so you support that person absolutely and um, that will be the, the 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 way to go that is the way to go so when we come back we want to talk a little bit about that stay tuned when we come back we will continue this conversation inshallah with brother Imtiaz Mohammed on um, how MVM Muslim Votes Matter uh, Foundation uh, how this organization would be able to motivate people to vote to get involved in politics and Muslims all over the world I mean all over America sorry but Muslims all over the world to understand this concept of supporting leaders in their country and their countries to be able to get involved in policy making decision inshallah Assalamu alaikum. Allah gives hikmat wisdom to whomsoever he wills and whomsoever is given wisdom is certainly given a lot of good. Only the people of understanding will benefit from the reminder. Tune in to Al Hikma TV for khutbahs, lectures, and Islamic reminders. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the Quran, in chapter 5, 
verse 67 Allah tells the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam bismillahir rahmanir rahim ya ayyuhar rasul ballig ma unzila ilayka mir rabbik wa in lam taf'al fa ma balagta risalatahu very deep Allah tells the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to spread the message of the Quran and he told the Prophet and if you do not spread the message you did not fulfill the mission of the messenger so you and I are followers of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam if we can afford one Quran help us join in distributing the Quran so if you can't afford one Quran do it three dollars ten Quran thirty dollars a hundred Quran three hundred dollars Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Who is Who in America on Al Hikmat TV. And we are very blessed and fortunate to have with us in Al Hikmat studio, Brother Imtiaz Mohammed. Welcome back to the show, Thank Brother you. Imtiaz. And for those of you who have just tuned in, we have had a wonderful conversation with Brother Imtiaz, who is the founder and director of MVM Matters, uh, meaning Muslim Votes Matter. Foundation Inc. and uh, it has been very 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 interesting talking to him about ideas to encourage Muslims to vote and get involved in politics in America so stay tuned as we continue this conversation inshallah before we went on the short break there was a point that you mentioned and I really really like that idea I like that point that you know um, already there are a lot of non-Muslims in America who run for election and they go to mosques they go to Islamic centers to get the support of Muslims absolutely they already do that I mean they really do that let's take President Biden he was with Muslims all over America when he was campaigning the president of the United States of America I'm not talking of just a commissioner and a mayor he, the president present president of the United States of America he, you know, he accepted invitations to Muslims and he was there with Muslims. Actually, he had a lot of Muslims involved in his campaign. Yes. Very much. Many, many, many Muslims involved in his campaign. Right? In addition to him, you know, meeting and reaching out to Muslims to support his campaign and to support him running for elections. So if at that highest level in the United States of America, you can have the president of the United States of America reaching out to Muslims for their support in the presidential candidate election and what about other positions so that was a very very powerful point you made that if Muslims come alive then you will have more people in the American political arena coming to the Muslim community so we need to bring that aspect alive yeah absolutely you see this Muslim vote in America is a swing vote so we are not enough uh, numbers we can make impact on our election or like somebody is running for office and you will make that change. But believe me, you have seen the trend in last four or five years. You see more electoral candidates, they come to the institutions for the support because they are understanding the value of that vote. If they get that additional vote, they can change because in any election there are primaries and 10 candidates running. All 10 want attention. If they have like, you know, because of a racial vote for them, if somebody is running on the basis of racial division, if they get Muslim vote, he's the winner. So this is an extra vote in America and Muslims are not realizing the importance of that registration process that once the candidates will know that so many Muslims live in Florida and they all are registered voters, we can change the policies and politics of Florida. The only way we can, very simple way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So all these existing donors need to focus on this third part of Muslims, the political strength. If you have all the wealth and ability, but you're not running for offices, at least you can donate and support. 
and at least you understand uh, this concept because this organization definitely going to need expansion, definitely going to need officers working towards this goal. But the way we are starting, the way we want to involve everybody on the volunteer basis. Nobody get paid here. Nobody get like, you know, the lecture someone for free. We need educators. We need scholars. We need muftis to promote this idea. I mean, you cannot repeat the uh, same khutbah every Friday. You got to have something educational for the audience. So this is going to be very interesting nationwide. It's not just Florida. This concept is going every single mosque in America. So you're seeing here, you're seeing here that, um, yes, the Muslim vote is going to be so important that it can help. You know, it's that hundred vote, that thousand vote, that three thousand vote that makes a difference. Plus, there is another point here. The point is, you got a lot of influential Muslims who got businesses. They got a lot of clients. So, if these Muslims were to motivate their clients, absolutely, and their customers to support a certain candidate. Now, it's not just a Muslim hundred numbers. 100, 100 uh, votes by Muslims, but 100 Muslims encouraging, you know, hundreds of other people, you're talking tens of thousands of votes. You got that point. Tens of thousands of votes. So Muslims should not sit back and say, well, we just three, four million in America. We can't make the decision. No, but three, four million Muslims Have affiliations. as affiliation and motivation can influence their affiliation and motivation can influence many more millions absolutely when you add it when you multiply it and that's where the impact is unless we cannot get away from that muslims are very influential people in the world yes. they know that the world knows that <laughs> america knows that uh, you know europe knows that muslims are very influential people in the world but the problem we come back to a lot of them are scared they're not brave enough to take the initiative to what is called responsibility in politics. So that brought me to, brings me to your point, actually. Well, then they should support the exactly. people who are brave enough to take on the responsibility. They should support the people who are brave enough. So, I mean, I, I think MVM is a fantastic organization and it's going to be able to do a great deal of work. So you got a lot of things ahead of, but before we conclude, you know, we got three minutes, three, four, five minutes again. What are some of the events or ideas you have in mind? Okay, the, like uh, I said, this organization is for people. They will take control of this, but we just going to educate and give them directions. And they need to follow that track and multiply that. So every single event, any organization is uh, uh, doing it, MVM will be there, registering people for vote, encouraging them physically. So we need a lot of volunteers. Every organization is going to be part of MVM. They need to be under this umbrella because there are so many, but nothing like MVM. MVM is not doing anything else asking American Muslim to vote. One point agenda. Who is going to deny? There is no ego. There is no president who is giving you directive for personal interest. There is no benefit for me asking an individual, go register your vote. Only thing will benefit me later on when we are training, educating, and running campaigns for the other candidates so we can ask them, please support them donate like this is the american system when you run any campaign with no money what happens everyone need money to run campaign so that is secondary we are not asking anybody to go donate democrats go donate uh, republicans or independent you just do whatever you want so we have no conflict of interest with any existing organization so this is the unique idea unique concept that I'm not duplicating your work, I'm not duplicating another party's work. We want to be part of you. We are merging. We are a merger. 
bringing all organization on one page and the person who does not support this idea I don't know how they're gonna justify their work if they say in public all social religious organization promote political engagement this is political engagement this is the route they have to take this is the way they have to involve I'm not asking for money I'm not asking to donate millions of dollars for this concept this is a self-made opportunity for every individual to teach and educate. Mm -hmm. This is just direct. direct, direct to the point. Yeah, because you made a good point there that um, social organizations, social services organizations, is religious organizations, they indirectly support Excellent. and promote the, the politics and, and candidates. So MVM is directly the involved, point. legally involved, and this is a good opportunity for people to get involved and to use the opportunity. Well, I mean, alhamdulillah, wish you all the best Thank you. and wish you and the team all the best behind MVM, Muslim Votes Matter. And um, inshallah, we're going to see a lot of success. As it's there for the benefit and to help people and to grow and um, inshallah, wish you all the best. So we just Thank got you. a couple of seconds again. What would you like to say before we conclude the program, inshallah? I have only one single message to every single individual who is eligible in this country to register for vote. Please go and do that. After this program, like if we've been talking so long for something very simple and which is your moral responsibility, go register yourself, register your family, and wait for results. You will be shocked if this message goes to every American Muslim family, they do this right, we will have a very strong society where people will elect their own candidates, where they will select or elect by their choices. Nobody is dictating them. I'm not asking for dictation, like telling them, do this, do that. No, simple one message. And, and we're going to make that point clear. It does not necessarily mean that a candidate has to be a Muslim. Candidate got to be a, 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 a person capable, of responsible, the office, yes. and is fit for the position, and Muslims can support that person. And that's a big. That's big. It's yeah. not about and just uh, a you, Muslim you, candidate. Very good point you brought. The MBM is not only for Muslims. No, no, no. Yeah. It's just for registering Muslims' vote. But they can vote to anybody to they like. To support the right candidate. Right candidate who understand the justice and equality for all Excellent. philosophy. Good. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Jazakallah, you. brother. Imjaz, it has been really, really, really uh, my pleasure to have you on this program. Uh, who is who in America on Al Hikmat TV. Wonderful conversation. Big eye opener for viewers uh, worldwide and especially Florida and the United States of America. Wonderful mission and uh, may Allah bless you and the team and everyone else on this mission and put success into it, inshallah. So thank you very much for viewing. Um, who is who in America on Al Hikmat TV? It's always a pleasure um, bringing these programs on and uh, always stay tuned to Al Hikmat TV 24 seven online. Until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 9-11, there has been a great fear of Islam. We need Muslims, I always say, to speak up in this yes. country. Much of our Islamic community is perceived to be insular. Most Americans have never met a Muslim or are not aware of having met a Muslim. Most people don't have enough education in terms of what the entirety of Islam represents. It's very easy to hate someone or to put stereotypes on people that you've never interacted with. But do you think if Muslims were more integrated in society, in America, in the United States of America, then there would have been less anti-Muslim scenario? I think it's even more important that our clergy 
uh, speak up. They are, after all, the moral force in our community. You see, the Islam that is celebrated is one which opens its doors. Having this type of dialogue um, in terms of uh, a community outreach or something that Muslims have to do is go out just like you do in inviting uh, non-Muslims to the iftar, that yeah. a lot, and you do a lot of speaking to mixed groups. We have to change the language from us versus them to a language of we. I believe that if we can stand together against the forces of hatred and be unified in this country, then we can do wonderful things. Bringing us together to enhance the beauty of humankind. I think religion this. can be such a, a powerful force for unity. Of course. We've made it into this, like, uh, you know, powerful force for disunity. Keep trying to understand each other and, and care for each other and keep building a, a, a world community because that, I believe that that's what, what God wants for, for us all. And I'm in their mosques and they're in my temple and um, it's been a, a phenomenal experience. I've had a very warm and welcoming experience in, from all the brothers and sisters in the community that every human being is either your brother in faith or brother in humanity. In Arabic, the word is لِتَعَارَفُ So that you will learn to understand one another. And this is the truth of what it should be. You see, this is why I am so pleased to come here today, to support the work of Al-Hikmat. Uh, the kind of intolerance and the violence that we see uh, across the globe is mm -hmm. rooted in ignorance, which we can overcome by teaching. Yes. Also yes. rooted in fear, which mm -hmm. we can overcome by experiencing, where we can actually live in each other's presence. You know, it's rooted in this um, a myopic kind of my way only, rather mm -hmm. than this understanding mm -hmm. that maybe all of us have more in common and at the core of who we are is this truly global family that we belong to. I'd like to say what a joy and pleasure it is to have Sheikh Shafayat as my friend, as my teacher, as my co-worker in the vineyard of Allah, God, where we work together to make this world a better place, to do God's work, mm -hmm. to do the work which we are commanded to do as human beings. Fens, the single largest specialty retailer of residential and office furniture, consumer electronics, home appliances, and household items in Trinidad and Tobago. At Fens, we offer a large selection of high quality products, honest and reliable service. We are passionate about serving you, and we're proud of the standard of excellence upheld by our knowledgeable staff, friendly delivery teams, and dedicated customer care associates. Visit Fens first, your friendly furniture appliance and electronic dealer since 1960. In the Quran, in chapter 5, verse 67, Allah tells the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Ya ayyuhar Rasul, Ballig ma unzila ilayka mir rabbik, wa illam taf'al, fa ma balagta risalatahu. Very deep. Allah tells the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to spread the message of the Quran. And he told the Prophet, and if you do not spread the message, you did not fulfill the mission of the messenger. So you and I are followers of the Prophet ﷺ. If we can afford one Quran, help us join in distributing the Quran. So if you can't afford one Quran, do it. Three dollars, ten Quran, thirty dollars, a hundred Quran, three hundred dollars. Royal Bengal Trading, importer, exporter, wholesaler of Bangladeshi Indo-Pak groceries and spices. We specialize in various authentic Indian masalas, juices, flowers, rices and spices. We offer exclusive brands as Ocean Pearl, Shan, National, Tilda, Himani and many many more. We're located at 36B Caroni Savannah Road, Charlieville, Chiguanas, Trinidad and Tobago. You can call us at 473-4676 or call 476 3117. Email us at wahabdk at gmail.com.